Hello everyone, it's your Gibbs. We are live streaming new series. I haven't played this one, this Empress of the Deep. I believe there are three games already in the series, so this is going to be brand new for me. I'm sure that some of you folks have actually already played this. Uh, that is all good and fine, but we're going to go ahead and get into this particular game. What I can tell you is that uh, this game is made by a can Canadian developer called Goji, or Gogi, or well, I'm not sure how you exactly pronounce it, but uh, that's interesting in itself. So thank you all for joining in the chat. For those folks that have to take off, see you next time. And for those folks that are sticking around, thank you. Thanks for sticking around. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Tidal forces at maximum. Hibernation sequence disengaged. You should be able to hear me now. Although you may not be able to understand that, I dare say you probably don't even remember who you are. Good morning, Anna. Your time has come. Take a deep breath and get out of the sarcophagus. <laughs> Why is he talking so soft to us? Alright, let's go. Look at this giant arrow. Holy cow. Now, one thing that uh, <laughs> when I did install this, I noticed uh, the resolution on this game is pretty old school. I had to shrink or reduce the resolution on my monitor, otherwise the actual game was the size of a postcard on my screen. But Let's anyways, it's all good. To Anna. He said my name was Anna. He sure did. My name is Jacob. You don't remember me. I am your friend. And you must always trust me. The first step, Anna, on your journey is to break free of this crypt, a chamber which has been your prison for over a century. Right, welcome back, Rose. We're playing Empress of the Deep. This is the first one in the series. Looks like we're Anna, and our friend Jacob here is talking to us a little... Not sure how he's talking to us, but he is. So let's have a look see here. Whoa, <laughs> I gotta read this. Oh my gosh, look how small it is. I have just awakened in a strange place, some sort of mausoleum. I can't remember anything. Who I am or how I got here. I am hearing the voice of a strange man who calls himself Jacob and claims to be a friend. This book was on the table nearby and says Anna on the front. Jacob told me that my name was Anna, so I suppose this was meant for me. So let's have a look around what we have here. Ooh, look. Map. Got some fog here, so we don't know what's ahead of us. Some clues. Page minus one. <laughs> That's interesting. Flowers. Ooh, looks like we're going to be collecting flowers. Cool, cool. Yeah, just I uh, hope uh, once I get... Oh wait, if, if Hope's not in the chat, I will get to Hope and make sure she gets a copy of that game very soon. Once I finish live streaming, I guess, is the best way to put it. Alright, let's go back. Oh, you've played this before? Yeah, this is probably... Well, I've pl played some of the earlier Mr. Case files. I was going to say this is probably the oldest game I've ever... Or the oldest uh, hidden object game I've ever played. But uh, I've played some of the earlier Mystery Case file ones. So it's all good. Look at the lovely art here. Uh, we have a horse buggy. This is interesting little scene here. I'm not sure if we're like, it looked like we were underwater from the opening there. What happened? What's the hint look like? Oh wow, okay. Oh, she is in the viewer list? Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, rocket. 
oak leaf, and a thermometer. Let's, that's the thermometer right there. Cool, cool. A microscope. There's a slide in there. Okay. I should record that symbol in this book. I like how the voices are so deliberate. It's interesting. This plate is slightly loose. <laughs> Got my handy dandy screwdriver. What else is going on here? Ah, so this is how we have to do it. First and third is all the way to the left. That one's something like that, maybe. That one's all the way to the right, and then in the middle. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, that doesn't seem to... <laughs> it looks like there's only three positions. Oh yeah, okay, so left, middle, left. Left, middle, left. There we go. Puzzle complete! Area complete! Ooh. Like, the marbling on the floor looks really nice. It's just the resolution is super tiny. A flower has been added to your book. Collect all ten. Sure, sure. Oh, hi, Lupa. Welcome back. As a sacred monument to human achievement. The Garden Dome is a vast underwater chamber serving as a hub to the three vaults. The Vault of War, the Vault of Art, and the Vault of Science. You must explore all three to discover the secrets of your destiny. Okay, Jacob, we will do that. Explore the underwater chamber to discover the secret. Yeah, they're very softly... I, I don't know if... Let me have a look at the options for that. I've got the voice cranked up full. So... The music's really nice in the background. It's very... I think suitable. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good too for an older game. A piece of painted canvas. I think the third Empress of the Deep came out, what, last year maybe? Maybe earlier this year? So it'll be really interesting to c contrast this first game to the third game. Like, you know, this the scenes here obviously at a resolution of... <laughs> uh, I don't know, a classic resolution? I'm not sure if that's the, the nice way to say it, but... The sounds are nice when you click on things. The giant arrow is a little distracting, yes. Oh, so there's punishing. That's what it was like in the olden days, I guess. I need a moon, a bonnet. What exactly is a bonnet? I'm not even sure. Oh, it's a hat, okay. A faucet, right there. Thank you. Now you just have to tell me where it is. For babies. Oh, okay. That's it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. There's the sun. There's the moon. And we'll just hint the salt shaker. There we go. Ooh, hello, sun. Another strange symbol. Has someone left these for me? <laughs> And a, ooh, a flower. Well, three choices, folks. Which way do you want to go? Left, straight, or right? I'm waiting for the chat to tell me. So, left, straight, or right? 
Uh, yes, hope this will be up on YouTube as well. I'll be putting this video and the one from earlier today up as well. Left, 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 left. I'm seeing left. Left is winner. I personally prefer left anyways, so. A jeweled eye. Like the music's just like hum. Another fragment of canvas? How many of these are scattered about? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for activating my aura. There are ten of them hidden around this place. Can you find the next nine of them? Help the little girl by activating the hidden purple orbs. Okay. Wait, is this the same thing? This place feels so familiar. I don't remember this sculpture, but I know her, and she seems so sad. Okay. Cool. Sunglasses. It's kind of interesting all this stuff is somehow landed at the bottom of the ocean here. Yeah, knowing what I know about Artifix Mundi, you're going to enjoy Time Mysteries 3 for sure. It's one of the newer Time Mysteries, right? Because it's the third one. Another clue! Oh, another flower! Oh, that is a different location. Oh, okay. Where's Maventory? There's a light down there, under the water. Sure looks like There's it. There's a light down there, under the water. Let's have a look at what we have here. Look at all the clues we're collecting. Here's our map. It's super tiny. Three flowers. And journal. Ooh, we've actually got quite a bit of journal here. Hidden among the detrius of this place, I found a glyph written in the glowing orange ink. I think it might be a clue left for me by Jacob. I've written it down in my book in the hopes that it will come in handy. I'm underwater. The lush garden I found myself in is within an enormous dome. Far below the ocean surface, there are glowing golden orbs in the distance, beckoning me to follow their light. What is this place, and why am I here? Who am I? Okay, thanks, Hope, for stopping by for the live stream. I will send you that Steam key through Twitter when I'm done here, so that you guys can have some fun with that. Thank you, thank you. There are pieces of canvas strewn about this place. There are fragments of a painting, but I can't quite tell who or what it is yet. I better collect them all. I found a strange purple sphere hidden away when I touched it in the illuminated room within, and I heard the voice of a small girl. She told me that there are ten of these spheres. All right, so we are caught up to date here. So now we can go back to here. Back, back, back. And we'll go right now. You found another board. Thank you. I know you've been working with our friend Jacob. He's actually a very nice man. Do do I know you? <laughs> Okay, I just have to touch it, I guess. Okay. This Oops. Was the entrance to the Vault of Science. Long ago, it was destroyed. You must find another way in. But there may be secrets hiding in the rubble. I am enjoying kind of the mysterious science fiction-y feel to this game. Wow, 
What are they for? It's a surprise. But I know you, and I know you'll like it. Alright, we're back for more clicky clicky. Of course, I am a sucker for underwater games, though, too. Any slight chance there might be a mermaid in a game? Sign me up. <laughs> How do I check the resolution? I have a program that I record with, Bandicam. And I just run the game with Bandicam running and it tells me the resolution. I mean, I could tell right away. Once I turned the game on, it was literally the size of a postcard on my screen. So I knew it was gonna be small. I'm live streaming uh, this at 720p, so I assume that the program I use for live streaming is kind of upping it to be a higher resolution. So, I want to marry all the mermaids, not just a mermaid, all of them. I'll be like the frog prince, but I'll have just a whole bunch of mermaid princesses. I think that's a good idea. Bottle caps and a sewing machine. Yeah, of course. Wow, this is super tiny here. <laughs> uh, good question. I guess I'll have to keep them active and not focusing on them consuming me or something? I, I don't know. I hadn't thought that far ahead. Thank you. Got the machine there. Thanks, Rose. So we have a drum. And bottle caps. Oh, the music just went quiet. Very atmospheric music, that's for sure. Next to the green square. So where was this last one? I can't see the drum. This looks like a fish scale, something that you would use to catch or to weigh a scale. I mean, scale a fish. Well, pillar to the left. Oh, thank you. Yes, there we go. Nicely done. Ooh, another code. Collecting all the codes. So that's good. We'll go back now. Uh, ooh, what's this? Picture of a lady here. Uh, do I know this code or something? What's this all about? Moon, diamond, crown. Moon, diamond, crown. Look at that, we found a picture of something. Maybe a picture of me. Ooh, more flowers. Let's go this way. Looks like it requires a key or something. I should keep my eye out for something to open it with. <laughs> a key or something. Metal plunger. A whole bunch of scraps here of a canvas. I don't know. Yeah, she looks a little evil. Vanessa, I agree. Okay, so we should go back here. And go straight now. I don't think I've been here yet. Do I know what this is about? Or is this just brute force here? Brute force it is! 
let's go through the gate. So we need to go f forward. Sure, why not? Ooh, look, a dolphin and a dolphins. The Vault of Art, collected and displayed by the Emperor Hiroshio IV, 2,109. That's old. I mean, in the future. Yeah, totally brute force for the win. All right, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a jigsaw puzzle. I don't think I've got all the pieces. Oh, I got some of my inventory. Got it. Whoa. The child does not look like a happy child. It's got like one eye. See that? That is creepy. The mother looks pretty happy. Father looks average. The child is... <laughs> oh my god, this one's scratched out altogether. <laughs> what? Holy cow. They're twins, clearly, but... One blind eye and one... A family. Yes. But concentrate on the picture. Who are they? You know these people. It's like a distant dream. Maybe Anna's one of the twins or something. All right, let's push on forward. What you're looking at are the finest works of art ever created by humanity. Collected and displayed lovingly by the royal family. Hundreds of thousands of loyal subjects made the pilgrimage each year to view the collection. But now it sits on the bottom of the ocean, all but forgotten, just as you are, Anna. But you understand, of course, that this was not by accident. This was by design. There is a queen. A terrible empress, Pandora. Her iron fist has oppressed our people, subjugated our culture, and denied us our heritage. You have been awoken from your slumber to save us. How can I possibly save people from the rule of a tyrant? I don't even know who I am. But they will know who you are. Anna, providing that you can retrieve the three Imperial Relics. Three Relics. And they also hold the secrets of your past. Very interesting. To save the people, you must first find the Royal Scepter. Wow. Look at all this art can't even look at it though. I'd like to be able to zoom in all this stuff. Yeah, I would definitely put money on there being an angry twin. Probably grew up to be that tyrant queen would be my guess. Well, let's go forward. Did I miss an orb? Where was the orb? I didn't see it. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah. He's a little silly sometimes, don't you think? He does seem a little cagey. Just a little. <laughs> Not enough. Like my LED lights, I can see them right now. I've got them flickering through colors like a rainbow. And I just had a nice deep blue show up. Made me think of the water. Okay, well we went left the last time we had a three-way choice, so let's go right. Hmm, something's wrong here. Oh, wow.
Uh, there we go. How do I? Oh. I see. I assume I have to light them all up. Hmm. That one works there. There we go. Oh jeez, how many times are we going to do this puzzle? get it over there though I could see it has to go all the way this way oh there we go nice more this is the fourth time we're doing this puzzle This is tricky, this one here. Can't believe I'm doing this thing four times. What does a hint do? I'm kind of curious now. I think I need to light up all the dark orbs by rotating oh. the mirrors, splitters, and scarabs. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping it would actually tell me what to do. So how am I supposed to get this one here? I don't that one's the one I'm not sure about. I don't know how to get that one. All the brain power. Oh, look, I can skip it now. Thank you. That one was the hardest. See, I would have been fine if I only had to do that three times. <laughs> the fourth time was the killer. Ooh, we made it yellow now. Well, let's go to the left. Ooh, somebody tore into that painting. Hitboxes are very, very tiny in this aim here. Looks like a banana. Yeah, it's probably the angry twin, I would think, too. That heavy makeup there around the eyes is a good indicator. Hint. Okay, so we have a key. What else do we need? Is that a hairpin right there? Nope. And I could very well be the bad queen. Oh, thank you for the key. I need that instrument there. And one more thing. What is a hairpin? It could all very well be a dream. There's so many possibilities here. We're so early into the game. We're only, what, half an hour in? Open up. And we'll pull the lever. And that's two levers done. Oh, now it's green. Let's go and see what we have to do here. Orbs. Can I touch them? I've already found an orb of this color. Okay. 
Oh, there's three doors here. Holy cow. Okay, cool. Now I've got myself an orange orb. Or I guess a golden one. And then... We probably have to do whatever's in this second room over here. Cupids times ten. It's raining cupids. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's an invasion. Shooting their love arrows. There we go. Yeah, definitely the older games are didn't hold your hand as much as the newer ones, that is for sure. Very famous painting, yep. It seems like they do have quite a lot of famous art in this game. Ooh, I'll take that too. We have the Royal Scepter. I think we're done here. Ooh, look, flowers! You've already found the first Imperial Relic. The Royal Scepter. It is adorned with the crown jewels. Symbols of the adoration and devotion of our people. Now you must go back to the Angel Bridge with Scepter in hand. Good, good, good. Return to the Angel Bridge to unlock the new area. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'll the nice art here too. Back up. Make sure I don't miss any purple orbs. Now the gate was it this way? No, I don't think it was this way. I don't think it was this way. Mm. No, it wasn't this way, right over here. Well, let's find out what this does. Wow. That just like rotated up into place like that? That's some serious engineering right there. <laughs> That's so clever. Okay, let's see here. Flowers, we have five flowers. Clues, that's the clues we have. Our map, which is super tiny. And then our journal. What have I gotten wrapped up into? Jacob tells me that an evil empress is oppressing our people and that I'm the only one who can save them. How can I possibly save anyone from anything when I'm trapped in this place, not even knowing who I really am? I'm getting scared. Jacob said I need to find three Imperial relics to save the people and also discover the secret of my past. I found a scepter. Jacob said this would help me understand who I am, but I still can't remember anything. The painting at the entrance to the Vault of Art looked familiar, but one of the faces was scratched out. There's a strange little girl with a curious eye in that painting. She's so familiar. I wonder if I know her. Jacob told me to take the scepter to a bridge somewhere. Maybe he means that spot near the broken entrance to the Vault of Science. Cool. There's a good summation of the story so far. Seriously, I'm collecting those purple orbs for somebody that always lies. That can't be good. 
Yeah, we don't know anything about those girls. We have no idea who's the evil one and who isn't. Circus did tell you to collect those ancient relics, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Don't you ever wonder what that crazy old man is up to? Why does he want them? Hmm. So who do you trust? Do you trust the girl voice that wants us to collect the orbs, or the guy who wants to collect the relics? I don't know. The young queen. I'm almost sure I've met her before, or at least seen her. Oh, there's looking like an evil queen right there. <laughs> wow. She reminds me of the Queen of Flames from the game I'm recording right now, Dark Realm. Interesting. Oh, look, and she's got the purple orb there, too. I should record that symbol in this book. Okay, so... The young king. Have I seen this painting before? I feel like I know him. <laughs> Ooh. Do I have to, like... Ah, I see. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here when I've got the final piece. Now, that was right, I believe. Nope. Left. Under this great yellow tree, the Emperor's daughters would sing and play. What had this statue witnessed with those eyes? Funny. The statue doesn't actually have any eyes. They've been gouged out. I've got one eye. So clearly I need a second eye. Hmm. Oh wait, looks like we got that up there. And we can go left. Ooh. The Sphinx! <laughs> There's no power. Aw, I wanted to go see it. Let's go this way then. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea to be activating those purple orbs, but I guess we're doing it because we have to make the game go forward. Hmm, someone dropped their handkerchief. It won't open. I think there's something here, but I can't get to it through all these vines. All the vines. Metal plunger, I've got two of those, and a handkerchief. Okay... I think we'll go up here. Through the lens of this telescope, visitors could gaze down in wonder at the entire garden dome. Telescope? I don't see a telescope here. Yeah, that girl is super I think suspicious. I that's the mausoleum I woke up in. I'd like to take a better look, but I can't see that far. The music is giving up all of the keys. This looks like actually like a part of a roller coaster right here. Okay, so we need a telescope. Oh, hello! Let's go ahead and get the clicky clicky done. This is some serious old school hidden object scenes. Awesome! But all I see are frogs and lily pads. Ooh, look, Hypnotoad right there in the middle. <laughs> that is one giant frog creeping on us here. I don't know. How am I supposed to fight all these things? I... Is everything like green or something? I think so. Starfish, a shoe. Yeah, the frog. Prince is back for revenge. 
Maybe he's down here looking for the little mermaid. I don't know. Anything's possible. <laughs> Did you say on the right of the frog? Uh, which frog? You see an X in the water? There's the shoe. Roughly where in the water is the X? Oh, there's a C. Thank you, there's the A. In the middle of the water? Oh, thank you, there's the X, good. Now we just need a feather. Oh, that was a W. Now we just need a feather. One more thing. It's really nice having you folks here because it really does help out. I just need to find a feather. Hmm. <laughs> I can't see no feather. Feather, ah, oh, the feathers are my nemesis in these games. Oh, I always struggle with them for some reason. Ooh. Truth? Truth inside an apple. Oh, another flower. I'm starting to wonder how long this game is because I've collected a whole bunch of flowers. The young queen. I'm almost sure I've met her before, or at least seen her. Yeah, I find the feathers super sneaky. Oh, so you're thinking that this queen here was the twin with one eye, or with the, with the odd eye. Ah, now I see what you guys are talking about. Hmm. Cool. Truth. We only have four more to go, and four more of our purple orbs. Now, this is the... Well, I don't even know if they had collector's editions of this particular game. Jacob tells me the next relic is in the royal family crest. The Empress of Pandora destroyed all copies of the crest, so Jacob recorded it in a vault of science. I'm not sure how to get to the vault of science as the entrance is broken, but perhaps I could explore this new area for an alternative. Yeah, this game, I, I was aware of it, but obviously this is my first time playing it. Uh, I kind of like these kind of puzzles, actually. They're almost like... Okay, that's not going to work. Like electricity puzzles. Nope, that's not going to work either. Hmm. Ooh, we're so close. Yay! <laughs> yeah, the I, I would have to say that I was one of the first folks that played hidden object games with commentary. Uh, definitely certainly making let's plays out of them and of course lots of other folks are doing that now which is that cool was foggy if only I had something to wipe it off with let's wipe it off with this cool handkerchief <laughs> oh. wow what an amazing sight I wonder how everything got this way ah uh, good Question. Let's go back. And then let's go forward. It looks like the handle to the tunnel door is missing. I wonder if it's still around somewhere. A second jewel die. Ooh, we need to take that back to the little statue thing. 
I don't think a metal plunger goes it there, does like it? It looks like the handle to the tunnel door okay. is missing. I wonder if it's so still So we gotta go somewhere. way back. Well, thanks for stopping by, Lupa. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna send you a quick note about something, but thank you for watching. Bye-bye. I think it was over here. No, this is not where the statue is. No, no, you're not in trouble. I have something for you. There's no power. Okay. Aha! There we go. And now we have a key? What? It's a small key for his forehead. Some sort of telescope. Now we have the telescope. I guess we're done here. We've got to go back up over here. And see what the telescope has for us. All right. Oh, a giraffe! <laughs> ha ha! It was a giraffe. We're gonna find all the animals, are we? Yeah, alligator. Asparagus. Ooh, look, a dinosaur. <laughs> yep, giraffes. Or a deer ass. We need to find a deer now. So we can mate them. <laughs> Blackberries. Let's hint one out here. Over there. Flying giraffes. Yeah. It was like spinning around doing stunts in midair. How am I supposed to find a match? That's like such a tiny thing. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, there it is. It's actually not that tiny. It's a giant, massive match. Where was the goat? Where is, did you said you saw the goat? The two of you saw the goat. I missed it. By the tree on the left. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, right there. Got it. Ooh. Proceeds? Truth proceeds. Okay. Are we done in here? What did we get from that? Another flower! Here's our map. With a lot of little tiny stars on it. I Actually, I'll be honest with you, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I think I saw the missing handle at the base of the look-off tower? Really? Oh, okay. Cool. Now I just gotta remember where I had to go back. No, I don't think it was here. All the way to the end of this tunnel here. It looks like the handle to the tunnel door is missing. I wonder if it's still around somewhere. Mm, let's go inside. Who 
He said we're Anna. All right, I guess we'll go left. We need that. What's with the lightning here? Ooh, this looks like math here at some point. I'm not the sure. Top, middle, and bottom rows add up to make the number on the right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do yet, though. Or what this thing is even for. <laughs> okay, good, because that's exactly what I was just What's thinking. What's the hedge clippers doing here? No, I, I think it'd be very dangerous to near all that lightning strikes. Alright, we got some more searchy searchy here. More animals. Oh, look, a giraffe! Haha! -ha. This game is full of them. Keep them coming. Let's see. I need a butterfly. Oh wow, that is not a butterfly. A black swan. Hmm. This is a pretty tough scene here. Is that not a jaguar right there? Nope. a dragonfly right there. Okay, black swan and a jaguar. It's just a bump a jumbled mess here. Holy cow. There's these two pillar rocks over here. Oh, wow, okay, so that was a jaguar? Holy cow, I can't even imagine what the black swan is. That's a black swan? Oh, that's a black swan! I thought that was a giraffe! Ooh, I'll take the saber. Oh, air precedes truth. Ooh, another flower. Another one of those. Guess we're gonna go in here. Put these into place. Oh no, I'm missing one still. Crud. I might be able to cut away those vines I saw with these clippers. Sadly, there's no fast travel. <laughs> yeah, that's a long walk, but a necessary one. Oops. All the way back. Back, back, back. Now, is the vines this way? Big giant green arrows, yep. I bet if I get these four pieces stacked together on the peg on the right, I can open the door. Okay. Oh, it's a Hanoi tower. Holy cow, okay. That's kind of neat. Neato. That was cool. Ooh, let's go inside. Look at the comfy bench here and all these comfy pillows. Time for a nap. Error 
Whatever precedes truth. Correct password. Try activated. Tram activated. The globe on the shoulders of Atlas represents the burden of human knowledge in the library of the Vault of Science. Explore the Vault of Science. Jacob hit the family crest somewhere here. Yeah, the Hanoi Towers can be tricky. I mean, that one was fairly straightforward. It only had three pegs and what? Four layers, so it wasn't too bad. But I've played some crazier ones. Ooh, look. Yes, I have. How many more? Only two. That's right, Castle of Malloy had that crazy Hanoi Tower. Ooh, all right, let's I don't see need if we can... another telescope. Sure you do. Everybody needs at least two telescopes. It only makes sense to me. A dandelion seed? These objects are so tiny. <laughs> A horse. Oh, thank you for the grasshopper. The handy dandy grenade just laying there. Got some constellations here too. Oh, look at that. I accidentally found that. And I'm all happy about that, too. Yeah, I have two crowbars. I sure do. <laughs> well, I'd like a grenade not to be thrown at me, but... So we have a padlock and a dandelion seed. Hmm. Oh, I just found the padlock. There we go. I think that's kind of dangerous to leave that grenade laying around like that. 775? Okay. So I can go here, it looks like. What is this? I have nothing in inventory, so we clearly can't do that yet. Yeah, it does remind me in, in the sense that the Nightmares from the Deep, it's an underwater game. So I guess you would expect mermaids. But this is more underwater science fiction, I think. Okay, what am I doing here? What? This has got to be some sort of math puzzle. What is this? How do I do this? Uh... Nope, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I see. I can dr I can add water here too. Ah. And then I can go over this way. Add more water. I think No. Nope. Yeah, this is definitely something. Hmm. How do I do this? You 
No, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, that's not what I meant to do anyways. Okay, I think I know what we have to do here, but this is going to take a serious crazy amount of time here. So I think we're going to back out of this for now and see what else we can do in here. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty tricky. I, I know I had to align the balls with the arrows. It's just, I figure it's about, it's really, a, it's a series of numbers. So it's, I just need some time to think it through. So I'd rather have some more fun here with the last remaining few minutes here. Uh, okay. It's a... <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have to do constellations now too? <laughs> I think we'll save that for next time as well. Let's see what else we can do here. I don't know what these names mean. Luckily I've got access to a science library. What are these names? Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to even know what this is all about here? Uh, I want to get out of here too. Let's see. Where was that? There's... I'm trying to get to it. Where is it? Aha! Ah. I these diagrams in my book in the clue section. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this game is a little bit on the tough side, but that's okay. Challenge is good. I can't reach that right now. Maybe if I move the ladder. So we basically, I don't think we have anything else to do here. Oh, no. Whoa. That takes me back here. All right, folks, we're going to pause right here. We're just past the hour mark or a few minutes past. I'm going to take a break. We will definitely finish up Empress of the Deep during our next live stream. Thank you all for joining in the chat. And uh, just as a quick re reminder that I won't actually be live streaming next Saturday. I'm actually going to be going away. I'm going to be out of town. But I will be live streaming on Thursday for Horror Night. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, it'll be 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock my time, Toronto time, on Thursday. We won't have any live streams next Saturday, but we'll be back for the following Saturday to finish up Empress of the Deep. So once again, thank you all for all, this, all the support, and we will see you next time. But yes, that's same as Ottawa time. Yep, I'll see you all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.